breaking news, guys. There is fire on the mountain. Oh. No politician is safe again in Nigeria. World shocking video as angry youth beat up lawmaker. See crime he committed. Nigerians when react to this call the talk say this is just the beginning. Time go come like this. These people they're not go feel waka again for street. You know that is it. This is what they have eventually, you know, a cause for themselves. They eat facts and all that. The people who you you said you are representing have nothing to gain from you. Bad road, no bed in their hospital, no light anywhere, and all that. You will just go to the to the Senate uh, and sit down. You throw your Baba regard, wait till they call him. You laugh and come back. Is that so? Politicians, I don't come. I I I, I don't know. Calling them leader, eh, they had me because. They are not behaving like one. They are all political jobbers looking for waiting to enter their pocket and their mouth. So sad. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. Oh, resident of Oshun State recently took action against their House of Representatives member. Honorable Olusoju Ade Tunji, accusing him of not fulfilling his campaign promises. The incident occurred in Ada, Ade Tunji's hometown, just before the Salah festivals. A video that went viral shows residents abusing Honorable Olusoju Ade Tunji. Upon his arrival, the people of Ada felt disrespected by the gift he brought for Salah, especially since he arrived in a luxurious car. Many locals were heard shouting and calling for him to be beaten. One woman even advised against filming the event, but the person behind the camera continued hurling insults at Ade Tondu and other politicians, calling them mad people. The frustration among the residents stemmed from Ade Toji say alleged failure to deliver on his promises as a representative of the Ifa Ladu or Odu Oten federal constituency. He had pledged to improve okay, he has pledged to uh, improve their living conditions, but many feel he has not kept his word. This incident lights the growing anger and disappoint, disappointment among the people. The confrontation has sparked various reactions online. Many netizens expressed their support for the residents' actions, while others wondered such incident might become more common due to the country's economic challenges. When the masses are being push, uh, pushed to the wall, they will surely bounce back, not praying for, but more of it will happen. When the righteous man are in power, the people rejoice. But when the wicked are in power, the people suffer. The days of these people will soon come to an end. These are the okay he said these are the evidence of election rigging these are reactions from nigerians so ha what a relief more of this please nigerians let's start holding them to book i did not want to guarantee to uh i did not want to graduate to this extent but it looks like the only way now <laughs> that's that is the Yoruba people. I know, I know and respect. They discipline you, whoever you may be, when you step out of line. Unlike some people who celebrate uh, sacrifice, we love who we are. Hmm. This look like political issues turn bad. Not really like ordinary masses attacking political official stuff or something. I would love to hear 
the back the, the backstory. Anyway, if they did this on their own without the prompting of a, a rival politician, I'm super proud. This event is a clear indication of the growing frustration among citizens towards their elected officials as economic hardship continues to impact lives. Many are losing patience with politicians who do not deliver on their promises. The situation in Adam might be a sign of more to come as people demand accountability and better governance. So these people just have to get ready because this is just the beginning. You know, I've been saying this, that a time may come, these politicians, they will no longer, you know, uh, pass on the streets again. They will no longer visit their homes. You understand? Because people will attack you. That is the truth. Uh -huh. When they eat fats, people when they say you're supposed to, you know, do something for or make life still better for them. May you speak for for them over there and we are not doing anything and you they eat fat, they go eat you because they are hungry. They will use you as a dinner or breakfast. That is it. So a time will come, these people they will no longer, you know, drive through the streets. They will no longer go to functions. They will no longer go to their village. It will get to that level. May God have mercy on us. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye.